Welcome to the living word of God. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 21, Paul writes, You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of the demons. You cannot partake of the Lord's table and of the table of the demons. Or do we provoke the Lord of je to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? Brothers and sisters, what is Paul saying here? You cannot partake of the table of the Lord and also partake of the table of the demons. How is stronger than God? Many times we pretend in front of people we can deceive people, but not God. Jesus said there are only two ways, the broad way or the narrow way. You love God or the demon. You can't serve two masters. You can't be partaking at the table of the Lord, drinking the wine, representing the blood of Jesus, eating the bread, representing the bo broken body of Christ, at the same time indulging in idolatries and the things of the world. We got to choose to be on God's side or to be on the other side. As I said, we can deceive men. Men may not know what is in our heart, but God knows. Verse 24, let no one seek his own, but each one the other's well-being. What? Let us not seek our own, that's what Paul says, but all of us seek the well-being of others. But many times in the world today, it's all about I. How do I get to that position? How do I possess this world? How do I be become popular? How do I, 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 self-centered life? Was that not the problem with Satan that brought him down from heaven, from that glorious being, from that position to where he is today? And that's why Paul advised to us today, let no one seek his own, but each one the other's well-being. Let us love one another. Let us look out for one another. Let us do things for one another with love. For Christ loved us and showed that example to love one another. Amen.